I am now going to demonstrate how to uh, add subtitles to uh, LaserDisc uh, live subtitling with uh, superimposing it over the uh, picture using a Genlock device or a generator lock. How this uh, system works is that uh, it takes the uh, image signal from a computer and from another video source like uh, for in this example a laser disc player uh, input it uh, to this device and then output it again to the television so in this case we have the um, VGA output here and uh, S video in and uh, out again uh, the picture uh, is uh, generated using uh, the computer uh, using a subtitle program in this case I'm using Substation Alpha which is an old uh, Windows 98 program uh, of course you need subtitle scripts that are made for the specific disk you want to play and uh, they are loaded in the file and uh, here is disk I'm going to play uh, a lot of Japanese uh, animation uh, wasn't released in the US until DVD and digital era so the only way in the 1990s and the early 2000s uh, to get uh, get Japanese animation you would have to use this method to uh, impose subtitles on them and uh, use a laser disc source and copy it to a VHS tape if you wanted to do that and of course somebody would have to uh, actually translate the movie and then make a script for it the way this works is that uh, I'm turning on the TV now As you can see, there is the computer image. Uh, I can use this remote control to fade it out. So now we only have the laser disc image. Uh, what it does is that uh, when I run the subtitle file, the screen turns black, and uh, black is ignored by the genlock, so that uh, only uh, colored images would appear and uh, usually the subtitles are yellow or white so they would only show you know start of the program it's just telling me to hit OK and then any button to start subtitling of course you would have to time it with when you press play on the video Again turn off the fading again and you can see this video image is still the laser disk image because now the entire computer screen is black so I hit play and press start just going to pause it uh, until uh, the actual subtitles start. Now I started the video because the subtitles are starting to appear. So as you can see, the computer image is completely black with only the subtitles showing and the subtitles are overlaid to the LaserDisc picture. Uh, 
and of course um, just turn down the volume a little bit uh, as you probably saw the uh, subtitles might be a little bit hard to read on the screen but that has something to do with um, the actual color tweaking so if I tweak the colors a bit they would be uh, a lot more visible I could also change the font and all that to make it uh, more visible but it's not too bad when you actually see it off camera and of course if I uh, hit escape now to cancel out the subtitling I get the computer image overlaid and as you can see the black portions are ignored of course this is um, really uh, oh, what would be the word for it uh, of course this is not uh, a practical solution for today but uh, it's still a bit fun to try out uh, the old stuff and see how it worked and uh, half the fun with laser disc is the impracticalities and trying to get it to work thank you for watching